Hello there, I'm back again because I want to clarify something that I just thought about. Now, normally, I always stress and preach that when we are refilling our cartridges, especially the ones that we are able to refill OEM cards with, such as most Canon printers, and except for the Pro 1 and the Pro 1000, the new one that's out there, and maybe someday we will be able to. Now, the practice has always been to have a second card filled and reset at the ready so that when one cart on the set that you have in the printer goes low or empty, you can then remove that whole set, replace it with a new one that's filled to the top and continue printing. That way you don't run into this constant changing of you know, cars that are reaching empty point at varying rates. So you will reduce the number of perch cycles that take place and thus reduce the amount of ink being dumped into those internal waste ink pads. So that's a good practice for every type of printer that you can either reset the refillable carts or reset the original carts in. But that's not the case for the Pro 1. We cannot reset these carts. We are relying on purchase single-use chips. So that practice would not be economical because say for instance my chroma optimizer goes empty. I don't want to replace that whole set of uh, 12 carts and lose my other chips that still have ink level uh, registered on them. So that would not be the case. For this printer, you would have to have two sets of carts, one filled and rechipped with single use chips, and that is on standby, sitting there waiting to be used and needed. So, say for instance, yellow runs out. I would then just simply remove yellow and replace it with the one I just refilled. And then at my leisure, I can then rechip the yellow one and refill it. And so that way you would have a constant exchange of cards. You really don't want to get into the habit of having to remove an empty card, rechip it, refill it while that slot is exposed to the air. No. You want to be able to remove that yellow card and immediately replace it with a refilled one in one that's been rechipped with a single use chip. I wish to God that we had a resetter for these cards. Then my original standard practice of swapping complete sets of cards that could be put into practice and then we could reduce the amount of waste ink that goes into those internal pads. They're supposed to be humongous and um, only somebody who prints like there's no tomorrow would ever ever even reach the point where you would fill those pads. Assuming you are you know performing normal practices and not doing you know, ridiculous number of cleaning cycles, whether you need to or not, um, this printer is so good that it will hardly ever clog. Just use it once a week, folks. Just print it and also check with it, and you are guaranteed that it will be fine. Now, how will it perform with refillable uh, inks or inks from a third-party source? We shall see. That's why I'm going to buy an extra print head and have it at the ready, just in case. Okay, so that's all I wanted to clarify for you. Now, I just remember that I normally stress that you should change the complete set. Well, that's not the case because we're using single-use chips that we will individually install on every printer. And I definitely do not want to remove a chip that's only half used if, say, for instance, Chroma Optimizer goes empty. That would be ridiculous and it would be a huge waste of money because these chips go for $250 a piece. All right, so that is it for now. I hope you enjoy this little nugget of information and again I just it just came to my feeble brain just a second ago and I needed to quickly make a video to bring it up to your attention okay so that's it please share please subscribe please like and so until the next time and that will be tonight happy printing bye bye